Let me up. Let me up. Let me on. Ow! Don't run me over. Oh, you suck. Look at that. What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It is midnight yet again and yet again. We are back on Atlas. In the last episode, it started out very well. It started out very well, but it kind of turned a little bit disastrous, to be honest with you. We went whaling. We kicked the crap out of two whales. We got some good amount of gold, and then we ended up running into a sperm whale, and things just went pretty much south at that point. So, behind me, as you can see, I have started building a brand new schooner. Now that it's dark, I'm going to have to turn this over to Gamma 4. I have building a brand new schooner. Well, I started it, let me put it that way. And it was going to be a whaling schooner. I was going to build it and everything else. However, Scoobs has decided that he doesn't want his galleon anymore. Or not his galleon, I'm sorry, his, um, his brigantine. So he said... I'll give you two choices. I either scuttle it now or you take it off my hands. And I started thinking, interesting. The sea glide might be kind of fun to try and make a whaler out of. So I took it off his hands and I've, be, I've, I've refitted it. I've built it into a whaler. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Well, the schooners are faster and they're more maneuverable. That's true. That's one of the benefits that they have. But they also have a very low uh, starting max weight even when you level up the max weight it's still going to be lower than a brigantine and i figured if we can keep the brigantine's weight low then we can actually kind of keep close to the same speed that we had with our other with our other schooner it's not going to be exactly the same but it is going to be fairly close and we can keep it going fairly quick we can get this thing to really get moving so we can look for whales so let me show you what i've done to the old sea glide here I've completely refitted it. I've got the exact same setup that was on the Sandman for whaling. And we're gonna go after that sperm whale today and see if we can get a little bit of a revenge, okay? So I've got two can I've got two cannons. I'm still trying to call them cannons. I've got two ballistas in the front, two on one side and two on the other side. Now the nice thing about the brigantine is, is it's got a big old booty. And before on the schooner, we were only able to place four um, four ballistas. On this one, I've been able to put six on this bad boy. Now, these aren't high quality, these aren't high quality ballistas. Um, they're just the regular quality because I wanted to try out the Brigantine to see how well it would actually do as a whaler. The biggest thing about the schooner is, is it's super fast and you can get to different areas to look for whales and search those areas fairly quick. But I kind of figured since the ballistas are so light on a brigantine, they would be really nice to actually keep the brigantine speed up. If you look down at the the stats, the cool thing was was Scoobs had already put in six points into sturdiness, which is what I was going to do. So I went ahead and started off by putting six into additional weight. Then I went out, took it out, killed some STO, SOTDs, and... I got it up to level 40. I've got one more level to put in when we hit 41, which I believe it should give it to us. Um, and it should get us up to, yeah, we should, because it's level 41. Okay. I put it into additional weight. It'll get us up to 19,000 max weight. With it fully loaded with the, the new catapults and everything, even overloading it a little bit with, with repair stuff and things, I've got it at only 5,456 weight, okay? So half, 50% of, of 19,000 is 9, or 8,500, okay? So, wait, 8,000, 18, 16, 9, 9,500. Yeah, 9,500. Yeah, okay, maths, good, good doing maths, right, okay. Uh, so we're not even close to 50% weight on this thing. In fact, we're about around in the, the 40s, I think, in the 40% range. Um, as we use up ammo and stuff, we'll get a little bit lighter and everything else. I'm missing a couple of NPCs because a couple of NPCs, well, I ran out after we had killed all of the 
NPCs on the schooner. Um, so we're missing a couple of those, which is fine. So let me show you what I've done to the Brigantine other than putting these catapults on here. Down in the bottom, if you guys didn't know, the Brigantine has three total decks, the very bottom one, the middle one, and the top one. I've gotten rid of the very bottom one and I've gotten rid of the middle one. I've gotten rid of all of the cannons and everything else. We have a completely empty hull down here. Now this is awesome because one, it makes the Brigantine lighter and two, it makes it 10 times easier to actually repair. How so? You pull out your hammer, you look straight down and as you run down one side, you just spam E. You don't have to hit anything, you just spam E and it automatically starts to repair it for you. Once you get down to the very bottom, you turn around, you go to the other side and you run all the way down to the bottom. Now the thing that you need to make a choice about is these gun ports. Now the gun ports have a good side and a bad side. The planks have a good side and a bad side. The good side is with the planks, um, you can just press E on them and repair them. With the gun ports, if you press E on it to repair it instead of hitting it, it just opens the gun port. It doesn't actually repair it. So with the gun port, you actually have to hit the gun port and play the stupid mini game or just hit it once and let it, you know, repair on its own. Um, however, the gun ports, surprisingly enough, are lighter than planks. So if you want to really save on weight, and I'm it's not a ton of weight, granted, but it is saving on weight. If you want a lighter ship, use the gun ports. But if you want to repair very quickly by just pressing E on your planks, then use planks. Okay, so the bottom is very open. We've got easy access to it, and I can definitely, definitely easily repair all of this stuff down here. On top of that, because we've got so many... Um, NPCs, I've got a larder. Plain and simple, when you get to a certain point, there's just too many NPCs. I threw a larder, larder in here. Um, only put two chests, uh, storage chests, and really, I don't even need these two. Uh, I put two in there just in case we needed to do any, we decided to take this to do any treasure maps while we're out whaling and we need to put some extra stuff in there. I've gone ahead and got bolts, 546 bolts. Now, the problem with the bolts isn't the fact that they're heavy. They're super, super, super light, which is awesome because compared to regular cannon ammunition, um, they're not going to weigh your ship down hardly at all. Uh, but it has to do with actually crafting the bolts. Uh, it takes metal to craft bolts and bolts take 16 metal a piece. Okay. That can be a little bit expensive, especially when you're on an island that doesn't have a lot of metal nodes. We've only got four or five, maybe six at the most on ours. So I literally had to go to a completely different island that I knew had a big amount of, of, of metal so I could go ahead and craft a whole bunch of those bolts without having to sit there and wait until the metal node respawns. But we do have about 600 and I definitely want to just not take on any whales until we find a sperm whale. If we're able to find it, we may not even find it and I may just end up calling it and just saying to heck with it and going after blue whales. Um, this is all that I've got when it comes down to gold and stuff like that. I probably will half the gold on here to make it even lighter. Um, for the Brigantine, I've got a little bit more wood than I really usually would have on it, but I've got plenty of stuff. I probably don't need that much. Actually, I do need that much stone because the ballistas actually use stone to be repaired. So I do need quite a bit of stone on there. Um, so that's a little bit more. I probably could take it off. I could probably get it down to about 4,000 weight to be completely honest with you, and that would be even faster. But we actually still keep going, or uh, raining, need a drink. We actually still are surprisingly fast. It actually gets up to a very good clip when you're, you're, uh, when you're taken off with this light of a weight. And the cool thing is, is you can, with us being at 4,005 or 5,400 weight, we're not even close to the 50% mark when it comes down to how much weight we're actually carrying. Um, and that is 9,500, which is the 50% weight. Right now we're at about 40% and that's totally awesome because we can still go pretty quick um, with that little of weight. I'm going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I've got my furs on us and I make sure I've got an extra fire just in case and everything's ready to go. And I think we're gonna take off. I'm gonna wait till it stops raining so I don't have to deal with um, any of the cyclones which may or may not spawn 
Um, I think we do have furs, right? Yeah, we do have furs. I'm going to get these on. I went ahead and put a bucket in here just to make sure, just in case we take on water and I need to, you know, well, basically bucket and, and pay a bale water until we get to an island if we get tail slapped too hard or whatever. I don't think the brigantine will last any longer than the schooner will do, will if it gets hit by the sperm whale. So I had nothing to do, it had, using the brigantine had nothing to do with actually thinking that it's more durable. Plain and simple, I just want to make that clear as of right now. I've got a couple of planks on here just in case we, you know, we do lose a couple of planks. Uh, I probably should put more in there, but right now we're going to try six of these bad boys and see if we can take on the sperm whale. Hopefully we can find it. I'll be right back. Um, we're going up into D4 immediately and like I said hopefully we can find it right off the bat if we can awesome if not well I don't know what we're gonna do then we'll see you guys in a minute okay so we are up here in d4 what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the center of the map on the bottom and then I'm just gonna go straight I'm gonna go straight north I think but what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to show you guys how good of a clip you can get going with a light brigantine. Now, you guys are probably saying, oh, come on, Mystic. The brigantines are slow. Uh, they're really for battling. I agree completely. They are slow. They are really good for battling. But if you get a light brigantine, I was really surprised to check out how fast of a clip they actually get going. Look at this. We're actually going at a pretty decent speed. Plain and simple, uh, as long as you can keep them light, they are still fairly maneuverable. Um, they are still fairly quick. And like I said, I can actually get this thing down to like 4,000, 3,000 pounds or kilograms or whatever you want to call it, whatever their measurement of weight is. So they're actually pretty quick. Um, as long as you can keep them fairly light. Plus, they've got a very high um, maximum uh, uh, weight capacity if you level them up. Uh, and as you can see, they're actually also fairly maneuverable as well. Um, I find that, and I swear people tell me, oh, there's no difference between the maneuverability of a light ship and a heavy ship. But I swear there is, because I feel like I can really spin these things around when they're super, super, super light. So as you can see, we're going pretty good. Um, now, in the last episode, somebody made a comment down below stating that if you see a green bar on a whale and he's coming straight at you, you've already got aggro. That was something that I missed in the last in the last episode. And I didn't realize that the sperm whale had actually aggroed onto me from that distance. So what we're looking for is we're definitely looking for any whale that we see to have a green bar over it. That means it's already aggroed. We don't need to get close to it to aggro it. It's already on its way. Uh, the second thing is, is the difference, the easy way to tell the difference between a sperm whale and a blue whale is with the blue whales, they usually spin in a circle. They just sit there and swim in a circle. And when they swim, you can see that you can see their full tail, their full, um, their full uh, tail in the back come completely out of the water. With the sperm whales, you don't see that. You see their back, you see their top fin or their, what's it called? Their back fin, I can't remember what it's called. But you see that fin, and then you don't actually see the full tail come out of the water. That's an easy way to notice that it's a sperm whale. So I wanted to bring you guys back, kind of give you guys an idea of the plan. Like I said, I'm going to go into the middle, and I'm going to go straight north. Now, I'm going to keep it on record, and hopefully we don't see any um, wakes of an invisible ghost ship that I have to run from. If if anything crazy like that happens, I'll bring you guys back. Otherwise, I'm just going to be sitting here looking for a sperm whale. Now, there's a possibility we may not find one because I've seen people look for them and they've spent hours looking for them and they've never found one. We may have just gotten lucky in the last episode and or unlucky, I should say, in the last episode and found one um, just out of a random chance. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, sperm whale off the port side, sperm whale off the port side. We've got a green bar going up. We're going to keep going full speed. We're going to get 
into the wind um where we didn't even i didn't even have to go very far honestly um i don't know exactly how fast we need to be going i my heart is just beating out of my chest guys it really is i'm gonna wait till he gets behind us i don't know how fast they are it looks like they're actually pretty quick um and i'm super nervous about like lowering any of the sails or anything else like that he looks like he's really cruising uh, I'm going to lower the sails just for a split sec to see if I can let him catch up to us a little bit. Oh, I am super nervous. My stomach is... Oh, is he turning off? I think he's turning off. Okay, so you see how that... You, you can't actually see the tail. Now, it looks like he's actually aggroed onto us, but he's turning around. So maybe we've lost aggro because we're, we're going too fast. I don't know. I'm going to turn around. I'm going super slow. I'm super nervous about the wind because I don't know how fast they actually are. So I'm going to see if I can kind of jockey for position here. Maybe I can... Can I get going this way and have him aggro onto us? Or what? I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go, really. It looks like... Okay, it looks like he's coming over. Oh, yes, that's what we needed. We needed to ship a dam right in the way. Uh, I'm going to take a hard starboard. Starboard. I'm going to readjust here. Hopefully we can get into the wind again. He's getting a little bit closer than I want him to get. But I'm going to... Let's just... I got to... I got to... Can we not... Okay, what's going on? I can't actually target him. Uh... Okay, slowing down even more. I can't target him. It's not allowing me to target him. Um, what exactly is going on? I don't understand. For some reason, I can't target him, guys. Is this not going to work? Okay, let's give this a go and see if I can just manually target it myself. I don't think I can. It's not... For some reason, I can't... Why are you telling me I can't target anything? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Awesome. 252. Oh, this is just awesome. This is just what I needed. I needed a 252 level ship of the dam coming after me. And now the ship is sinking. I'm just going to... Yeah. This is what's going to happen. This is awesome. Let me guess, I'm missing an entire... Yep, I'm missing two pieces. So I need probably port pieces. 
which is fine, whatever, I guess. Okay, let's go down here. Let's go ahead and replace one here. For some reason, it's not allowing me to replace it. I can't actually... Oh my god. Yep, okay, so that just happened. And of course, the ship isn't actually slowing down, so now I can't get to it. Ugh. And I think that stupid... Oh my gosh, come on, man. This is just dumb. This is just dumb. A 252 level Ship of the Damned. He's now coming after me. You gotta be kidding me. This is ridiculous. And then I'm gonna have to try and play the get up on the... Yep, there goes the Brigantine. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Another two days of work down the drain because we get a 252 wonderful SOTD here. Kicking the crap out of us. Oh, this is just beautiful. This is just beautiful. 252. Oh, there goes half of our half of our undercarriage. I don't have enough uh, stuff to actually repair it. Oh, this is just wonderful. This, look at this. I can't repair anything. For some reason, it's telling me... Ah, yes. Can't repair anything until structure is dissipated. We're still on it, but um, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, this is just amazing. I come out here to kill a sperm whale, and I can't actually target the sperm whale for some reason. I don't know why. It should be killable. And then we just happen to run into a level 252 uh, ship of the damned, who with one shot takes out the side of my ship. And then I accidentally fall through the floor, of course. And yeah. Sorry, Scoobs. The sea glide is gone. All because of one well-placed shot by a 252. Just this this is dumb. This is dumb. If I hadn't have fallen through the floor, I'd have been fine. I probably could have replaced it. Uh, but it keeps telling me, oh, you can't replace it until your wreckage is dissipated. So, it wouldn't actually let me replace it to repair it. Um, so, I'm pretty much hosed. And all of that wonderful work that I've done for the last two days on the Sea Glide trying to fix it and get it ready for another whaling session. This just sucks, man. That was the last of the NPCs. I'm glad I took off some of the gold. At least I've got some gold to go get some new NPCs. Is there any way we can actually climb up on this thing? I don't think we can climb up on this thing. That would be really cool if we could. Let's see if we can actually climb up on this thing. Let me up. Let me up. Let me on. Ow! Don't run me over! Oh, you suck. Look at that. Now, see, the, the funny thing is, is... Last night, they just barely... Oh, there's the there's the whale. They just barely added in... The regular... Um, uh, what's it called? The regular... Oh, God, what is it called? The, the, the regular uh, level of animals. Why do I get such a white screen? Don't You don't need to do a white screen. Just do a black screen. Why would you do a white screen? Don't do a white screen. Um, the regular level animal animal levels uh, they were a little bit lower before and they re they 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 upped them to five now the difficulty is much harder now and that's why there's a level 252 yeah so the sea glide is gone I didn't even get to kill the whale I took a hundred thousand shots at it I couldn't even target it I don't understand can you not kill sperm whales that's just really dumb if you can't because they can kill us. 